Hello, hello, Royal Family. Hope everyone is enjoying their Monday. Yes, I am coming on. Oh, shirt all tangled. I'm coming on on a Monday instead of Tuesday. I hope everyone is being safe, washing their hands, and following the CDC guidelines. But, you know, since everything is going on and when you go into the store, it's kind of like shopping for a mystery basket. Some things you can find and some things you can't find. So for the next couple of videos, I'm going to make simple recipes. So today we are going to do a tuna casserole. Something simple, something I could find in the store and it did not cost a lot of money. So you guys, the recipes that I will be doing for the next couple of weeks, uh, they're very budget friendly. So please keep that in mind. And also, just a heads up, I want to give you, there will be noise in the background because, you know, family is over. Everybody's trying to stay together and, you know, stay out of the atmosphere and stuff. So you might hear the TV, you might hear somebody talking, but... What we're going to focus on is the ingredients of our tuna casserole. So you guys ready to make tuna casserole? You sure? Come on now. Are you sure you're ready to make a tuna casserole? All right, let's get this train on the track. Okay, here are the ingredients. We will need a 10 and a half ounce can of cream of mushroom. I got the 25% less sodium, but you can also buy uh, the regular can of cream of mushroom. I have a 12 ounce can of tuna. I usually like albacore, but I can only find the chocolate. So we're gonna have to use that. I have an eight ounce bag of sharp white cheddar, and it's the rustic cut. I have two bags of the one ounce of Lay's classic potato chips. I also have a red onion, sorry, didn't get a white. I'm only gonna use a fourth of this and I'm only going to use a fourth of this bell pepper. Also, I have large, hope you guys can see this, large egg noodles, and they're extra wide. And we're probably going to use half of this bag right here. Of course, definitely not going to use all of this. We'll use about tablespoon and a half of the daisy sour cream and I have garlic granulated garlic and you guys have to check this out I got this at Trader Joe's it's an onion salt but like it says with a touch of salt but it have green onions in it let me see a granulated onion, granulated garlic, minced onion, kosher salt, green onions, and dried chives. This is really, really delicious. All right, what I'm going to do is dice up a fourth of the onion and half of the bell pepper. I'm going to saute it in butter. Then I will drain uh, the tuna, and then I'll come back and show you what we do next. Okay, I've sauteed the bell pepper and onions in a teaspoon of olive oil. And now I put the can of tuna in. And I wanna, you know, you don't really need to cook tuna, but I wanna kinda dry it out. So I'm gonna cook the tuna and the bell pepper and onions for about four minutes. Then I'm going to add the cream of mushroom soup and a half a can of water 
and then I am going to add the sour cream. Then I'll come back and show you what we'll do next. I did say a teaspoon of the onion salt mixture and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I will add one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, which I forgot to show you guys. All right, I'll be right back. You guys, I am so sorry. I forgot to tell you um, and show you the peas and carrots. You're gonna add a half a cup of peas and carrots to this mixture. So it's the tuna, it's the bell pepper and onions, it's the cream of mushroom, it's a tablespoon of sour cream, and the vegetable mixture. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this heat up. Then I'm going to add the cheese in this. And I'm going to put it in a uh, baking dish while I do my noodles. Once I do my noodles, I will add it back to this pot to incorporate everything. Then we're going to put it in the oven. So preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And we're going to bake it, I'm gonna say 20, uh, 25 to 30 minutes covered with foil. Then we're gonna take it out, take the foil off. Then we're going to put the crushed potato chips on top and put it back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. But I'll come back and show you that step. All right, I put a cup of the sharp white cheddar cheese and I just want it to melt, that's all. I want everything to combine together. Then we will boil the noodles. And we're going to boil the noodles probably, I'm going to say eight minutes. We don't want it mushy so We'll boil the noodles for eight minutes. But you see that? Look at that. And the taste is amazing. Also, I'm about to add the black pepper. Okay, here we go. Um, let me do a correction. We're only going to boil the egg noodles for three minutes. But remember, whenever I do a recipe and I need to tweak it, check down in the description box below and it will be accurate again only boil the egg noodles for three minutes we're going to put this in a 375 degree oven covered in foil for only 20 minutes so put your timer on we only want to cook this for 20 minutes because everything in here is still hot so once we do it for 20 minutes, we'll come back, remove the foil, and add the potato chips. Then we'll take it up to 400. All right, let's get it in the oven. All right, the 20 minutes is up. And there it is. Now we're going to add the crushed potato chips. Let me show you. It'll give it some texture. And I also want to say that if you can, please try and find the albacore tuna. Uh, the chuck light doesn't have, a, don't have enough texture to it. Okay. I said we might, yeah, we will need a bag and a half of the potato chips because I still have some sides to go. Can you see that? So the potato chips will act. The potato chips will act as a breadcrumb. All right. Remember, take your oven up to 400, and I'm going to say 10 to 15 minutes, but keep an eye on it so your chips won't burn. Okay. Put a few more. These are the Lay's potato chips. Make sure you try to cover all the surface. Okay, back in the oven, 10 to 15 minutes. And when I come back, I will present the final 
presentation. Okay, Royal Family, here's the finished product of the tuna casserole. So I'm going to name it tuna casserole back to the basics. And what I did, I also want to tell um, you guys that I moved the rack up one notch so the potato chips could really brown, which made it so beautiful. And of course, I have it on this towel because it's hot. But anyway, I dipped the 